Power stands for Programming and Outreach for Women Employees on the Rise. And the mission is to educate, to empower, and to amplify female voices within Schneider Downs. Why is Focus on Women so important and what drew you towards joining this group? I was raised by a very strong and independent mother who taught me to use my voice for good. And I am very involved in several women's associations here in the Columbus community. I've been serving on the Women's Fund of Central Ohio board for the past four years. And it's something that I am just very, very passionate about. And um, I receive great um, strength from being involved with such a wonderful organization. Uh, I think it's important to focus on women within Schneider Downs so that we can allow every woman in the firm to have an equal opportunity to advance in her career and to also um, grow professionally and personally so that we can attract and retain uh, the best power within our community here in Schneider Downs. Yeah, I mean, I couldn't agree more. Um, so I also came from a household with a very strong female voice. Um, and then not only my father was a great advocate as well. I grew up in a household where gender didn't really make a difference in what you could and couldn't do. Um, and it wasn't until post-college when I had joined the working world when I really started to see that people do treat you differently to, based on your gender. And, and I will say too, that carries forward into client relationships as well. Just, um, you know, creating that awareness uh, about women, what women want from client relationships. I think it really helps the men and women of our firm to be able to communicate better, to service our clients better, and just have a general awareness. 100%. I think awareness is, is the first step. How have you seen it grow and evolve to support and empower the women of our firm? Just having the space to be able to have these open and safe conversations, um, I definitely think would be our biggest impact since our onset. Um, we're still a new group. We're still kind of getting our feet under us, figuring out what our programming looks like. But our biggest um, goal that I think we've been able to achieve thus far is is giving more of those open spaces for some tough conversations that might not have been happening previously. So our uh, focus for 2023 is to bring all men and women to the table and ensure that we're educating everyone on the topic of gender bias. I think there's been a lot of success with the different events that we've had. Um, can you share a little bit about some of the past events? The first annual Power Up Summit all day event that the firm invested in all of our women to build confidence and build that female camaraderie that we really miss and, and that we need to try to develop within our culture here at SD. Some other things that we've spearheaded is, so we started a book club that's been from the onset of the group. So we're going on our second year now. Um, we've read tons of fantastic books. The other initiatives that we have taken on was we started a women in arts series and we actually had two different events within that series. Um, the first being we went to an art gallery hosted by um, two female business owners, one in Pittsburgh and one in Columbus. I think that one was more focused on how to network and how, how to better yourself in your business development. Um, and then this past uh, summer, we did a women in film screening where we screened RGB and had some um, discussion with the group. And then we also welcomed in an outside um, cinema expert from Columbus, Molly Cruzman. So if people watching this video that don't work at Schneider Downs um, are interested in advancing women's rights, being a part of an organization, um, or cr even creating a similar program in their workplace, how would you recommend they get started? My advice is to explore which facet of the women's movement that they're really interested in. There's so many different paths that you could, could take then do some research on which of the nonprofits align with that interest. There is so much need for grassroots help within our communities. Just reach out to them and connect and let them know that you're interested in your supporting their mission. Google is your friend. Um, I personally found out about most of the organizations that I'm a part of um, 
Going to networking events for young professionals, a lot of times they have sponsored booths with different organizations in the community that are looking for people to get involved. Uh, in terms of developing a women's affinity group within a company, my advice would be to connect with one of the senior uh, females on the leadership team and ask them if there's been any prior history in developing a women's group um, and make sure that your leadership within the organization would truly support the concept.